<laughs> you just say no. I can't, I can't, I can't. I say no to the preacher. I can't, I can't do that. I can't do that. <laughs> we were talking also about uh, the communion bread. He said he made communion bread. I used to make communion bread too in the other churches, we, the other church we went to. And Bob always helped uh, almost the whole morning, but we made enough to last us. We used to do communion um, the first of the month, of every month. Uh, the church that I went to as a child, which has been a long time ago, we had communion every Sunday, but we didn't have communion bread like we had. We used crackers and we had the juice. So when you think about communion, do you think of God's body as a, as a communion and his blood? Do you think of that that way? Um, I tried to talk to my great-grandchild about this one day. She's three, going on 10. Um, and she, she could understand, you know, um, a lot of people don't understand why we do this, but I think it's um, it's something we need to do. We need to think about it when you're doing it and why you're doing it. And uh, I have a verse here in the Bible. It's in Second Corinthians. Um, it's in chapter 13, verse 14. It says, "The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of the God and the communion of the Holy Spirit." be with all of you. Amen. So you have your communion things. Um, am I supposed to read these? That's what I'm supposed to do? Yes, yes. Okay. Um, it's so nice to come to this church. <laughs> I love it. As they were eating, he took the bread <coughs> and after blessing it, broke it and gave it to them and said, take this. Yes, this is my body. And when you have um, arthritis in your fingers, it's kind of kind of hard to do this. But anyway, God doesn't care. And then he took the cup, and when he gives thanks to the cup, they all partake of that. And he said to them, "This is my blood, the covenant, which is poured out for many. Truly, I say unto you." I will drink again of the fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new in the kingdom of God. Let us all partake. 